Here, I have an HP ProDesk 400 G4. I really like this PC because it's really good looking. The HP ProDesk 400 G4 is a compact and visually appealing PC. Now let's take a look inside this PC. It comes with a 310 watt, 80 plus bronze power supply. The power supply should be enough for some GPUs, such as GTX 1650 or RTX 3050. As you can see, the HP power supply comes with a super proprietary connector that has two four pin and a little tiny motherboard connector right here. Here, I have an Asus Dual Mini RTX 3060 12 gigabyte. It's an ITX GPU that should fit perfectly with the HP ProDesk 400 Micro Tower G4. I want to turn this cute office PC into a gaming PC that can play all AAA games, but the power supply of this PC does not allow me to do so. I tried to find the 24-pin ATX motherboard cable adapter for HP ProDesk G4, but I couldn't find any connector that works with this PC. Now I think about the mining rig that I used to build around 2021 to 2022. I use multiple power supplies in a GPU mining rig using a SATA power to 24-pin power supply activation tool, and I have one right here. Can I implement the method with a gaming PC? Here is a 400 watt flex power supply. It's so small that I can put one more on my PC to supply enough power for the Asus Dual RTX 3060 12G. Now let's put them all together and see how this cute little office PC performs in games. First, I removed all unnecessary cables, such as SATA data cables, that I didn't need with this PC upgrade to give the PC more free space. Now let's remove the power supply. To remove the PSU, undo three Torx hex screws. Push the blue clip that secures the PSU and slide the PSU to remove it. Now I'm going to add a power cord pass-through cable from the stock power supply for the Flex 400 watt power supply. I will use the zip tile to secure the 400 watt PSU in this PC. I need to pre-place the zip ties before I install the stock PSU. Otherwise, I can route the zip ties after I install the PSU. Now let's connect the 24 pin and 8 pin PCRE cable with the 400 watt flex PSU. Then, connect the PSU activation adapter to the 24-pin ATX motherboard cable of the Flex PSU. Now, connect the SATA power cable to the SATA power header on the adapter. I will place the Flex PSU like this and secure it with the zip ties. It looks weird, but it will be fine when I close the side panel.
Now let's install the graphics card. The Asus Dual Mini RTX 3060 12G is really small and it is so easy to install it with this small PC. Now let's plug the 8-pin PCI power cable into the GPU. I will add a 92mm intake fan to feed the cool air for the GPU. Just like installing the Flex PSU, I will secure this fan with a zip tie. The HP ProDesk 400 G4 Micro Tower uses the standard PWM fan header so it's easy to add more fans using a PWM fan splitter cable. It's almost done. Now, let's take a look at the little gaming PC. Okay, now let's turn it on and test it with some gameplay. Before I start testing the gameplay on this PC, let's take a look at the BIOS. All the PC parts are present in the BIOS. The system is running just fine with a dual power supply configuration on this PC. Now let's benchmark the PC and play some games. Hey there, amazing viewers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support means the world to me. Thanks for being part of our awesome community.